You wanna know what molecules sound like? Because I do. Before we get to any chemistry though, I need to show you what an audio waveform looks like. What you're looking at here is the audio signal from an MP3 of Uptown Funk by Bruno Mars. It's basically just a bunch of different sine waves all added together. So with the right Python script, you could add up a bunch of oscillations and turn them into an audio file. You know, just saying. So with that out of the way, let's talk about how awesome computational chemistry is. Thanks to quantum chemistry, we can actually simulate what the atoms of a molecule do all the way on the atomic scale, which is very tiny. I mean, just look at how cool this free energy surface for the phi psi collective variable of the alanine dipeptide looks. So the thing you need to know about quantum chemistry calculations is that they take forever to do. Like, like seriously, right? so we have really cool ways to speed up that process. And the way we do that is with something called a force field. What we do is we break down the energy of a molecule down into these different pieces. So the easiest one of these uh, terms or pieces to think about is the one that describes the bonds of the system. These energy terms just have like a couple variables that we can tweak to affect how the system behaves. So by just changing these variables, I can change how aggressively um, these bonds oscillate and the equilibrium length that these bonds oscillate around. And the rest of the terms uh, kind of work in a similar way, but instead of bonds, it's uh, it's for things like the angles between uh, three atoms or the dihedral angle between four atoms. And what we do with all these different terms put together is we just tweak those different variables until the energy that we get from all of these things added together does a really good job of matching the energy calculations that take forever but are really accurate that you would get from quantum calculations. So with that force field, I was able to generate a trajectory. So what I did was simulate a molecule of butane and gas phase with Langevin dynamics using the leapfrog integrator in a one femtosecond time step coupled with a thermostat to keep the system equilibrated at around 300 kelvins. this point, all I need to do is add up all the bond oscillations around their equilibrium bond length and use Python to convert that sum of oscillations into an audio file. This is a result of that process. That was more than a billion times slowed down. And it just sounded like noise. So to get a waveform that actually sounded like kind of interesting, I had to end up slowing it down. I had to slow the oscillations down like a hundred billion times. So obviously in order to do this, I had to throw together a cubic spline interpolation script. And of course I took my time and made sure the script was efficient and it was well documented. And I definitely didn't spend hours trying to understand a script I'd written a few weeks ago, but hadn't bothered to comment at all because that would be absolutely ridiculous. So these are data points for my original trajectory, and as you can see, they're pretty smooth, but not smooth enough to just connect the dots. But with this nice interpolation script I wrote, you get a nice smooth curve through all of these data points. With this curve, I'm actually able to stretch out my data as much as I want. I stretched my waveform out and rendered a new audio file, and this is what it sounded like. pitched whistling that you're hearing is the hydrogen atoms of the molecule, and the lower pitched tones are coming from the carbon-carbon bonds. So what I'm about to show you is actually the same audio file, but now it's lined up with the trajectory. And the thing about this that is so cool is that you can hear the shape of the molecule. So just by listening to the pitch of the lower frequencies, you can hear the shape of the butane molecule. You can hear what metastable configuration that it's currently in.
did what any any responsible data scientist would do. I sampled the audio. So at this point, you're probably wondering what musical key is butane in? a crazy one now Who tried this moment for another one Even though it's starting to slow Even though it's starting to slow I can tell the difference already Showing off your hands too When I'm around 